is the light circle for 7 p.m. on Monday, March 11th. And this is just a reminder that we are light and to focus on light first. And that any thoughts placed in the light can instantly be seen to be untrue. And that thoughts and beliefs and emotions have no impact on divine nature. So basically, we'll be focusing on the light. And today's topic is food preferences. And so we're going to let Jesus tell us, we're going to ask him to tell us what the, uh, the denials are in our preferences for food. I'm willing to see this differently, the kind of attachments or desire for food. He's saying it's not to judge food as good or bad. It's to see that it does not change who you are identity through food. So by looking at all, all the attachments and desires to experience food as a way to experience the body as density, as a density. So I guess that's the first thing. Jesus, is there any desire to have food prove that the body's real? as a means to prove that the body's real. I'm willing to see that differently. He's already telling me, yes. So I'll put that over to him. In the light of infinite being, can food actually, in the light that we are, in direct experience, can that actually prove a body? Is there a desire to feel more like an object, like a body, through a sense of taste? To experience, is there a desire to experience a sense of limitation through taste? I'm willing to see that differently. I'm willing to see that Jesus, is there a desire in the subconscious mind to use food eating as a means to quote unquote prove that I'm alive, that the body's actually alive? Jesus, there is a desire to use food to prove that food is somehow gives life for an experience that food is life-giving. Jesus, their desire in the subconscious mind to prove not having enough food and experience some kind of limitation to the idea of not enough food being available.
is, is there a desire in the subconscious mind to feel a sense of control through eating food, having control because certain types of food can be eaten or not eaten? Control over form? Just control. Just, yes, using, to have a sense of control over what's eaten, what's not eaten. I'm willing to see that difficult. Jesus, is there a desire for a sense of feeling and experience of causality that eating certain foods can cause certain cause a problem in the body? I'm willing to see those differently. Are there any specific foods I need to look at that I have given a causality to put those on the table? Jesus, is there a desire for an experience of pleasure through eating certain types of food and thus denying divinity? Jesus, is there a desire to experience food, certain types of food as being quote unquote healthier than other types of food? Jesus, is there a desire in the subconscious mind to have an experience that certain type and types and types of types of food are harmful? Jesus, is there a desire in the subconscious mind to experience food as my daily bread, to deny that the love of God is my daily bread? Jesus, is the sense of smell, to smell food or other smells, is there a desire to use that to deny a sense of, to create a sense of separation from God? I'm willing to see that differently.
Jesus, is there a belief or a desire in the subconscious mind that certain foods can actually physically impact the body, certain fattening foods, certain foods for losing weight, foods that gain weight, that foods somehow there's a cause and effect relationship between the shape of the body or the body and food. I'm willing to see that just my where we point to food and health, those beliefs that certain kind of foods, like Jesus, they're in a desire in the subconscious mind to experience guilt if I don't eat the right kinds of food, quote unquote, or eating the wrong kinds of food, like a desire to experience guilt. <clears throat> or to see that differently. Jesus, I can see he's pointing to uh, like foods for health purposes like blood pressure or mm -hmm. any kind of diabetes. Yeah, you're not eating right, therefore, and if then, if I were to eat right, like that kind of experience. Yeah health in the body is any way related and well-being is related to food i'm willing to see that Jesus, is there any desire to experience, have an experience of safety or comfort from eating food? Like as a denial of divinity, just, oh, this feels really comforting. Or, I don't want to see that differently. That food provides any kind of safety or comfort. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to experience food as a form of magic? Any beliefs about magic? <clears throat> Jesus, is there any desire to use taste as a means to attempt to experience something outside of myself? Any other desires to be looked at around food? Any denials of divinity in eating food preferences? Qualities of food, organic. <clears throat> Any beliefs in the mind around or just denials of divinity using nutritional, the idea of a nutritional content of food, some foods being better nutritionally for the health of the body. You know, I see this differently. Okay. 
when the truth and light of who we are can does food have any make any changes on infinite being in our direct experience anything eaten change infinite being Is there anything else you would have us know about food preferences to look at? That's feeling complete unless something's it coming feels to you. complete. It feels like you covered it. Feel anything to share on this segment? Otherwise, we can just go into. Addiction. Food addiction. Is there anything I covered around here? I think it's covered. As a substitute for God. It feels complete yeah. here. Okay. So we'll just spend a few more minutes. Yesterday, we started going through the miracle principles, see if there are any denials around miracles that we could look at. And uh, so it, we're looking at the URL, URL, URL text or your text. Um, and it had down here in one of the footnotes, miracles depend on timing. This is why you shouldn't waste time. So I'm putting up any desire to waste time. Jesus, is there any desire to waste time? Mm -hmm. In the subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. I told you a while back that time would cease when it was no longer useful as a learning aid. This is a way of speeding you up. And that is by leaving more and more time for me. So you can devote it to miracles. Jesus, is there any desire, desire not to devote time to miracles, like to avoid miracles? I'm willing to see that different. Any denials on that? In the light of truth. Is there any? Desire in the subconscious mind to deny that I am the miracle. A miracle reawakens the awareness that the spirit and not the body is the altar of truth. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to, to still have the body as the altar of truth and deny awareness of spirit? I'm willing to see it.
This is the recognition that leads to the healing power of the miracle. Jesus, isn't there any denial that's, that's blocking the recognition that leads to the healing power of the miracle? I'm willing to see it. The miracle rearranges the order of perception and places the levels in their true perspective. This heals at all levels because all sickness comes from confusing levels. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to confuse levels? I'm fully willing to see that differently. Just like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I must have done some eyes closing. Okay. Is there any desire in the subconscious mind to believe that and have an experience that I cannot heal all sickness? That is completely within my power. Is there any desire to? deny that it's completely within my power. feels complete for today. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any shares? No. Yeah, it feels good just to The see. only thing uh, is this thing, the last thing we did, that I can heal all sickness. Sickness being an illusion doesn't need to be it's just looking for a belief in the mind the that it's not happen. possible to hear it all right okay so it's not there's some yeah desire for it still in the subconscious mm -hmm. mind so we're just looking is there any desire in the subconscious mind to actually experience sickness in the body like it's vengeance it's a yeah, form yeah, of yeah. vengeance that makes I see it clear. That.
Jesus, is there any other desires to look at around attack, attacking, experiencing attack in the body? Attacking the body through food, seemingly. Attacking the body through illness, dis disease, discomfort. I'm willing to see that differently. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. May this, may this be accomplished. Thank you for joining us, Jesus and showing us the way.